Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past videos, we have seen uh, how basically uh, classes which implements list interface like linked list, array list, vector and copy on write array list, uh, how it works internally, right? And we have taken few use case scenarios and we had implemented. Now, uh, before exploring a uh, set, implementation of set like uh, hash set and linked hash set uh, you should have prior knowledge <coughs> about how internally hash set and linked hash set works and so that's the reason i'm going to explore uh, uh, one of the implementation of map interface uh, that is called hash map right so hash map is uh, one of the most used collection uh, it will be surprising to know that maps themselves are not collection because they don't implement collection interface. So if you look into this picture, then collection interface, uh, I mean, here is the collection interface and interface like set, list and queue extends uh, collection interface and there is a descendant uh, implementation of set, list and queues, right? But uh, in this hierarchy, map doesn't belongs, right? Map, map is totally segregated from this uh, uh, inheritance hierarchy, right? But uh, however, collection view of map can be obtained using entry set method. But you can get the collection view of map by using the entry set method in, in the which is in map interface, right? To obtain a collection view of queues, keys, a uh, key set method can be used. So map also contains a method is called key set which will extract uh, uh, all keys from the map and that will give it to you. So uh, let's see first of all before exploring how hash map works internally. Uh, first of all we'll see how we can add elements in the map. So first of all map is nothing but the it's a data structure which holds key value pairs. So here you can see I have a two model class one is called employee so let me show you the employee which is having few fields uh, a public constructor and uh, i have overridden two string method so that i can display a state of object in nice format another cl model class we have a department which is having some private fields public constructor and i have overridden two string method now in main uh, method in client program i have a I have created five employee object and two departments. Now I have created a map with key as employee and department as value. And here I have added five elements, right? So here you can see employee one, two and three I have assigned to the department D1, first department and employee four and five I have assigned to the uh, department two. So here employee is the key and department is the basically value. Now how we can iterate map in different ways? That's the thing we are going to learn, right? So as I said uh, earlier, uh, map interface is having a, a method is called entry set, right? This will give you the collection view of uh, map. So entry set, right? And this is going to return us a set of entry object. So what is entry? Let's go to the entry. So entry is a here you can see entry inside a map. There is a inner interface is called uh, entry. So if you press control shift T and go to the map, which belongs to the java.util and here you can search entry, right? So entry is the inner interface. You can see map dollar entry dot class. This is the dot class file for inner interface and this uh, inner interface is having a method is called get key get value so once you get the object of entry right then directly you can get the key value pairs now this is set right so set easily you can iterate using a iterator list iterator or uh, uh, enhance for loop so i'm going to apply enhance for loop right so if you iterate set then that will give you the entry object right and here entry is having a get key and get get value so here i am going to uh, call get key that is nothing but the 
employee object right get key and similarly we can uh, get anti dot get value right so this is the first way to iterate a map using entry set and let's see what are the different ways now second way uh, as i said earlier uh, map interface is having a method is called get uh, key set sorry key set that is called key set which will return you the set of employees means set of keys and now once you get the set of keys right so this uh, let's say this is called keys and uh, this is a type of sets so again you can use uh, enhance for loop right and uh, this is the key so we get the key so here we can what we can do we can print a key which is nothing but the employee and how we can the corresponding value so map is having a method is called get so you can pass the value key here you can pass the key and that will give you the corresponding value so here i am going to pass key and this will give us the corresponding value nothing but the department right so let's say you can give the variable name as value that is nothing but a department so key value also we can print so this is the second way to iterate map uh, now a collection interface is having a method is called values this will give you basically values only right so this will give you the values and this is going to return you the collection of values so this will extract all the values from the map right and that that will give that will give it to you so we have a five values d1 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 three times and d2 and d2 so if you add key value pairs in the map key would be always unique but value can be duplicated that's not an issue so you have a collection of department that that you can easily iterate using uh, for each loop right so here i am going to iterate for each loop so here basically just we are iterating the values which is available in the uh, map so these are the basically these are two ways to basically iterate a map fourth uh, uh, here we are just iterating the values now third way you can use a uh, java 8 came up with the one of, one of the for each loop which is in map interface itself so here i will say emp dpt map and let's see fourth third way how we can iterate a uh, map so now here uh, you can uh, you can see for each loop and here if you go to the for each loop which is available in the uh, map interface this accepts the by consumer interface and by consumer is a functional interface if you go to the by consumer by consumer is having an accept method which accepts two objects but doesn't return any value right so here you have a two options either here you can do something like that new by consumer you can uh, implement using anonymous class right and here you can have a uh, now here key you have a employee right and value you have a department right department and by consumer is having a method is called accept so you can uh, override this method using anonymous class and here inside this uh, you can have a uh, this is a key you can say and this is a value so again you can uh, pre, uh, print key and value something like this so here uh, here basically i have implemented or uh, accept right i have uh, overridden i have basically written anonymous class within a uh, for each loop but uh, there is a shortcut form for this you can uh, as uh, as you, you can see the by consumer is a functional interface right so you can write a lambda expression for this so how we can write lambda expressions right so that i'm going to show you so easy it's easy to write a lambda expression you can write something like this uh, for uh, in map you will have to call for each loop and here 
uh, you have a key and value right so inside a by consumer you have accept method right which takes two parameters right so here uh, first parameter nothing but the key you can say any name you can specify over here and second is the value and you can express lambda expression something like this so uh, here arrow is nothing but lambda expression sign and bracket starts and close and here you can print key and value this is the shortcut way to print key value pairs using lambda expression itself right and now here value so uh, this is this is the shortcut form of this one and this is the expanded form so we should not write something like this instead of uh, writing uh, on humans class for uh, for by consumer we should write the lambda expression itself right and if i run this application then you'll see the output on the console so when you add key value pairs in the hash map hash map doesn't maintain the order and that's the reason you can get elements in any order right so here you can see so first approach what we had taken to iterate the map that is entry set right so entry set and we got the here you can see the employee corresponding elements employee corresponding elements but here you can see order is not maintained so here i can uh, separate all the outputs so here you can see all the output is segregated so here key and value getting printed so first approach using entry set now second approach we had taken using the key set right and uh, third approach uh, we had uh, uh, we had iterated uh, we have iterated uh, using for each loop but inside the for each loop we have written the anonymous class for uh, by consumer but by consumer is a functional interface so you can write a lambda expression for this so same uh, same code you can write write in the very short and crisp fashion right using lambda expression so fourth iteration we had uh, done we have done using uh, uh, lambda expression itself using for each loop right which is the one of the java 8 uh, 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 for each is added in the java 8 itself right so if you are uh, you have you are working with the java 8 and above version then of course you can use of uh, uh, for each loop and the last iteration you, what you see over here here only you get the values so values method which is available in the map interface which will give you the only values and here you can see values uh, you are getting so in map you can have a values may be duplicated so we have a five values all values are displayed over here but in key is always unique so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys in next video tutorial onwards we are going to see about the hash map how hash map basically works internally that's the thing we are going to explore so i hope you enjoy learning this video uh, this code i'm going to check in on the github and github location you may get from the video description itself so guys if you really like this video then please uh, give the thumbs up and uh, please share and subscribe my youtube channel as well